this is a very quick video just to explain how to make this simple moving bed filter for an aquarium first of all you start off with a shower gel bottle this is actually one from Tesco's notice it's got a curved top here that's pretty important all you do is use up the shower gel snap the little flippy lid off drill loads of holes in the bottom of here this would normally have a curved outlet with your little end on here cut all of that out so that this just locks on there securely drill little holes in the top so that the air can get out and that's where this curved bit comes in handy because as the air is pumped in it's forced out the top drill two holes in the back slightly smaller than the end of the suckers and then you force the suckers into the holes that enables you to stick it to the side of the tank next thing to do is to cut a little bit of foam that's going to fit inside of here so just cut that to size make a little hole right through the middle of it take your airline pass it through and on the end of the airline put a t-piece that stops it being pulled through and when that's inserted in here the air will actually come out of two different places it'll come out of both ends of the t-piece so you get better coverage of air with your spare end of your airline simply pass it through the end of the bottle cap like so and the next thing you do is fill in here with about 60 to 70 percent of media stuff I'm using is called BioMotion it's a ceramic media has a massive surface area that's it, you can see how much media is in there that's allowing enough room for the foam and also a little bit spare so then once the media is in put your foam in slide the cap up cap on now when air is injected in here comes out of the T-piece and this media should move so that's it set up ready to go into a tank you can see from the size of my hand that that is a very small filter but that filter will easily filter 100 litres of water because of the fact that it's a moving bed so it's very efficient supports very vigorous bacteria and also the media that I've used has a massive surface area much better than the moving bed plastic medias this is the filter that I've just made working you'll notice that the media isn't all jumping around madly and crashing into each other it's just gently vibrating This still scrubs the side of the media, so it still supports the very hardy bacteria. It just means that you get very little noise from it, because you can't hear the media moving together. There you can see the T-piece in the top of the foam there. Two outlets for the air. The bottom part of the media is moving like a normal moving bed would. As you get up, See, it's just gently rubbing together. This is still scrubbing off old bacteria and ensuring that only the very, very hardy bacteria survives. Which means that any ammonia that gets produced in the tank 
gets rapidly consumed by this very vigorous bacteria. Also, with the media not crashing together, with there not being masses of airflow, you hardly get any noise at all. It's a very quiet filter. The air pump in here is only a 70 liter an hour pump, and that's any amount big enough to power this filter. You see the bubbles going between all the various parts of filter media there? Where the bubbles go, the water flow goes. All the bacteria that lives on the media is being fed with waste from the water. The coarse foam in the bottoms trapping all the heavy muck. The filter's working really well, just from one small air pump. There's two sort of medias which work well in this particular sort of moving bed filter. There's the traditional plastic media, like K1, or in this case, Helex. The German media, much more surface area than K1 works well in them or the media that I've been using for this demonstration which is a ceramic media basically just like the inside of a Maltese a honeycomb with loads of little holes these little white flecks on the outside are monroelite clay which condition the water the clay wears away pretty quick after a week or so and then you're into all these little holes in here masses of surface area this is the best media beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's more expensive, but it has a massive surface area. This one litre bag would make at least five of those little filters that I've just shown you in this video. If you want to buy either types of media, just click the link in the description. Thanks for watching.